Hi guys, I'm back. <laughs> um, but um, I am with you guys. Um, I'm actually trying to get a little one here ready. Um, so what's going on is there's an actual doll show, um, and I actually went to the doll show. Um, put my little hey, aunties. Hey, little Sammy going. And again, because I post so many. Um, I'm not sure if I have posted her yet or not, but if I haven't, she'll have a box opening video. Hi, aunties! It'll be coming soon, and as you can see, she has Higgly. So what does that mean? She's a silicone. <laughs> uh, for those that are, uh, haven't seen her before. Um, but basically, I'm trying to get her ready. She's been powdered. They have been powdered, aunties! And um, so just now trying to get her into some clothing um, and get her ready for the show. Um, so she'll be going uh, as my personal, look at all the hair. <laughs> she has a head full of hair. Uh, <clears throat> trying to see the best way to show her. It's so hard because the way this is angled, it doesn't really show you. I'll uh, try to keep up with the lighting so I don't sometimes get what I want to get cut in the shot. I almost have to do this, lay her in my lap and do it so you can see better. But it's so awkward. Okay. Just have to do, make the best of it. <laughs> so got to be ready for the show on time. Um, so anywho, this uh, particular um, event, particular show, uh, doll show, I had actually went um, I think it was last year. It was either last year or the year before as a vendor myself. And um, she doesn't have any private parts. She's part um, cloth. Just her bum is cloth. But all of this is silicone. Her back, her spine, um, her legs. And I'm still trying to come up with a name for her. So um, if anyone has any good name ideas, let me know. <laughs> You know I'm bad with names. You guys who are my friends and family, you know Donna is horrible with names. I'm never going to... I'm doing great to remember my own, I think. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and change her out and have you guys join me as I kind of change her. Aw, she just has this look all the time on her face, and I'm going to try to get a close-up on her in a minute. She just has this look on her face like, why? It's always like, why? Don't part me, please. That kind of look. It just makes you feel poor. Like, even changing a diaper, you feel guilty. <laughs> because her little face is like, no, why, mommy? Now, this is a size three. But she's a big baby. She's an infant, but um, she's very heavy. She's probably eight or nine pounds. And I see this three is um, actually not bad for her. Gives her plenty of room for her to, to move around in. Um, you can see her spine. She actually has a spine here. Again, the sliding is horrible. And all that hair. And she's just big. Somebody did a video and they said they felt their baby had kind of froggy legs. <laughs> Sometimes with the way she lays, it, it does... Her legs be kind of bandy out a little bit, like a little frog froglet. <laughs> so, anyways, but she's been powdered. Um, I'm gonna put this on her, and bear with me because I'm she's new to me, and so I'm still getting used to being gentle with the silicone versus a, you know, I had silicone Ashton Drake. You guys saw them on my on some previous videos, and then I did one on Ashton Drake's and who I have in my Ashton Drake collection and I have two silicones but their silicone is not as um, jiggly and um, I guess you could say delicate as hers is so like with the way her arms and stuff are I sometimes feel like I'm going to break her because I'm so used to reborns and other types of dolls that sometimes 
you know, I, I just feel like, oh my God, be gentle, you know. And I wonder, does anyone else feel that way? Did you feel this way when you first got your silicone that you may break it? Because that's how I feel a lot when I'm, I'm handling her. It's almost like I don't want to because it's, it's, it's crazy. It's like when I first had, have my baby, my real babies, and for, for a minute, I'm a little like, okay, I don't want to break it. <laughs> I don't want to break her. She's so tiny and so delicate, and you're kind of like, ah, I don't want to, you know, how? what's the best way to hold them and approach them? Because they're so little and so delicate. And that's how I feel with her. When I'm changing her clothes, she probably is going to be one of the least changed babies of all. Because I always feel like I'm going to tear her or break her. And, um, but yeah, so, but yeah, so anywho, back to the show. This show it happens as far as i know it's been happening for some years now and um like i said i went as a vendor and the show i ended up not selling any of my reborns it was um the crazy thing that sold my clothes a lot of people wanted the clothes look at her big thighs get my big fat thighs aunties <laughs> so get a little closer big fat thighs <laughs> so i so crazy enough i go there with all with some dolls to sell and ended up selling porcelains and um clothes no one people were fascinated with my reborns but as soon as you mentioned the price and mine were let me say dirt cheap people still were like oh that's just too much money and oh that's cute but and they would just move on um it was interest, but people don't want to pay even a very cheap, um, I'm just looking at the time, a very cheap reborn price. So that was the thing that I found out. And I've had that happen at another show as well. Oh, I can't believe I did this wrong. See, I was going to put stockings on and now I put the, well, you know what, I, I can unsnap it. <laughs> Sorry. Again, when I'm putting on stuff, I remember guys what is that about me i cannot talk and do stuff at the same time so she's just like stop it already so there she is um so i'm gonna put her um i have these stockings because oops wrong way because they're pink and her shirt is pink and white this light again is horrible and it's washing out the colors she has a lot of pink tones she has dark 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 brown hair head full of it um, and her painting is beautiful however you would probably never know because of the lighting here um, and it's kind of dark outside um, still so um, I can't even add that lighting to lighting you know and if I put too much lighting then you know you wash out color as well so um, but yeah so basically this show um, I didn't make anything off of it. I think I went a year or two ago. Was so last year, the year before. Um, but I did find one of the Ashton Drakes in my video I found from that show. I got her dirt cheap and it was like, I felt like, wow, the whole show wasn't a wash because I found her. <laughs> and a friend was like, well, who goes to a show to make money and you end up spending money? <laughs> but it was, it was, but I like that. So I'm going this year. And not as a vendor, because it was it was a major bust, excuse me, <clears throat> for me at least. There were other types of dolls there, you know, your traditional porcelains and your, um, a lot of, a ton of Madame Alexander's, your antique compositions, um, a ton of that was there. Um, but that's not what I was interested in. But like I said, I did find that cute Ashton Drake. I was the only person with Reborns out of all the vendors and i went to another show what same thing i was the only person with reborns and i didn't sell any reborns uh people bought clothing accessories um and they bought porcelains you know cheap porcelain dolls that i put out there that i'm thinking nobody will want but i'll just bring them and sell them you know for basic basically give them away at the cost i had them at and that crazy enough guys that was the dolls that people were most fascinated with um, again, the price point, I think, throw people away. People just don't understand it's an art. They don't understand the pricing. Why is it that much? 
Um, they're fascinated, intrigued, but they're like, ah, I wouldn't pay that for it. It's kind of the impression I got. So this show, I hope to take some pictures to show you guys. I will try to do video. I've got so many pictures on my camera that it is, there's some stockings on, but there's so much. You see that all at the bottom? Um, I've got these little shoes with kitty cats on the bottom. They're pink. And I just hope you can see the color. It's, it's, again, everything's so washed out. And I'm hoping that these shoes, once on, they may cover some of the gathering. And they're really comfy. Look at me, like I'm wearing the shoes so I know if they're comfortable or not. But they look comfy. <laughs> Let's go with that. Because I don't want her feet squished up. And here's the other one with a little kitty cat. Um, these were, you know, I try to stay bargain, guys. I'm big on bargaining and i got them for 99 cents and they're adorable i don't i don't believe in spending a bad penny i have to budget a life so and that life requires budgeting i'm just checking the time just to be sure in case this video cuts out um so here we are oh so i've got my shoes on now you see all this hair she is shrouded in hair, and those of you who know me know I make my babies with a lot of hair. Um, my reborns that I make, I'm an aspiring artist, as you guys know. <sighs> aspiring because my work is not perfect. And to be honest with you, I don't think it ever will be. I'm always not happy with my work. But say hi, aunties. I got my pink and white on now, and I got my cute shoes. <laughs> it's a close-up. Aunties. and she has her ears pierced Hi. so we're going to work on that hair and we're going to put this on this little brown cute thing and it's a little bear and we're going to put that on a second she's kind of looking like why did you just throw that on me so this is the doll show i'll be going to cuddly and sweet bears it's just a little dress a jumper to go over what she has and then i've got this cute little hat and this hat was another friend of mine uh for 99 cents and look at the big jewel in the middle isn't that adorable and it's just so cute and girly and frilly so i think she'll wear the hat with that and the reason she's wearing stockings you guys know i'm paranoid about people touching and dirt rubbing off on them so I'm even more paranoid about her as a silicone so she's wearing her stockings um, to help protect her arms and I'll have a little jacket a pink jacket for her arms and then she'll have her mitts on pink mitts to cover her hands so no one can really really touch and hopefully not destroy my baby but um so basically so that's a doll show that I'm getting ready for um and I'm going as a spectator <laughs> I guess you could say this time around um, not as a vendor, and so um, I'm on a budget because <laughs> um, I have oops, prior obligations. So I'm just really going mainly to look um, with just uh, you know a few dollars. <laughs> so, but like I said, I got the other Ashton Drake for such a steal. You just don't know when you go to these shows what can happen. Now there's another all. Oh, doll show and it's if you go to um our doc reborn dolls of color on facebook go to reborn dolls of color on facebook there's a doll show um meet and greet if you will that's going to be held uh this coming october the very last weekend in october uh friday saturday and i believe and sunday as well lorna miller sands the sculptor and artist will be there on sunday to do a meet and greet so for those of you who love her sculpts lorna miller sands um please go it's going to be in carolina you can go to reborn dolls of color and get the information the convention information the dates the hotels um that that you, know, you can get a room in and the room block um and stuff like that so of course i already have my room to uh to attend so I'm looking forward to that doll show and, um, and stuff. And also talking about my product, Doll Marketing Magic. 
um, as well. So I'll probably do a separate video on, on that. But, um, and hopefully I can get some good pictures and 